Hello, handsome. So if you've ever been used record shopping, there's probably one album that you've seen more than any other. That album is the infamous Whipped Cream and Other Delights by Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. It's to the point now where most record stores actually use this album as a load-bearing material in their building structure. If you're like me, however, you've probably wondered why this album is so prevalent and widely available in the used record bin. In this video, we are going to take a look at the history of this album and why it seems to show up everywhere. Leave a like if you dig the video, and let's get started. Whipped Cream and Other Delights is so readily available as an album that at this point it's become a meme in the vinyl community. I remember going used record shopping for the first time and seeing like three or four copies alone. Even right now, I can go down to somewhere that sells used records and find a copy like it's no problem. Some record stores will even have a full wall of this specific record. If you haven't actually picked it up though, you may not know much about it. I think we should start with the man himself, Herb Alpert, and see why he's so important. Herb Alpert was born March 31st, 1935 in Los Angeles, California. Growing up, he learned the trumpet, which would be his main instrument on most of the music that he released. He had spent some time on RCA Records as a solo artist, however, it was in the early 60s that he would set out to start his own record company. That record company was A&M, which he co-founded with Jerry Moss, and in the future they would host a number of very popular artists. Albert would release some Mexican-flavored easy listening music on that label, with The Lonely Bull being one of their earliest singles in 1962. Fast forward to 1965 when he would release the pinnacle of Bargain Bin Records, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. Whipped Cream came out in the middle of 1965 and spent eight weeks at the top of the Billboard 200. It was also in the number one slot for Billboard's top selling LPs of 1966, which actually beat out The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, and Frank Sinatra. The album itself features instrumental, jazzy, easy listening tracks and was really accessible for people buying the album. Some of the songs off of Whipped Cream were used as the music on a popular TV show at the time, The Dating Game, but most popularly, the title track. The music on this album really was an essential part of the 1960s, and even now, you've probably heard some of the tracks off of it, even if it's just referenced in other media. For example, you've probably heard the track Lady Fingers, which was really popular on TikTok a few years ago. However, the music alone wasn't what drew people to this album. The risque album cover is really iconic and grabbed a lot of people's attention when it came out. It features model Dolores Erickson, who was three months pregnant at the time. Also a fun fact, she's actually covered in shaving cream, not whipped cream, and it has a bikini on underneath everything. The stuff on her finger and forehead is whipped cream, though. They didn't make her lick shaving cream. Herb even thought that the album cover might have been too much at the time, but decided to go with it anyway. This album cover has even gone on to be parodied and or copied multiple times by other artists and is instantly recognizable. So now we need to ask, sure it was a popular album, but why is it found so often in used record bins? To answer this question for myself, I ended up trying to find sources as to why it's so abundant, but couldn't really find anything specifically in that area. So I did what every YouTube historian does when they need a good pool of what the internet thinks and turn to Reddit. It seems people have a lot of different reasons as to why they think this album is everywhere, but I think we can really break it down to three key points. The first reason is just how popular the album was. It was huge in the 60s and it seems like everyone had a copy. When you beat out the Beatles and Frank Sinatra, you're probably going to be readily available on the shelves. Not only that, but the fact that the songs on the album were featured on a really popular TV show at the time cemented it in American culture. It almost sounds like every American household came with a free copy of Whipped Cream and Other Delights. The second reason is as the original demographic of this album gets older and passes away, some of their belongings end up in used record stores. The newer generation may not fully appreciate or even know about this album, so they wouldn't be apt to hang on to it like they would a Beatles or a Rolling Stones album. Plus, the move to digital formats and CDs would cause people to not really care to keep it or play it themselves. It almost becomes a relic of the past that some people are not as familiar with, unlike some more mainstream vocal artists like Frank Sinatra. This would obviously cause the supply of this album to skyrocket in the used market. 
The third reason I actually got directly from someone on Reddit and is a sort of cognitive bias. This album cover is so attention grabbing that you're probably going to remember it more than other records that you're sifting through. It's like that whole once you buy a certain car, you start seeing that car everywhere kind of thing. To be fair, there are probably other albums that you see just as much but aren't really thinking about. Yes, this album pops up a lot in used record shops, but it might not be any more than like sports by Huey Lewis or something. And that was it. That was a brief look at whipped cream and other delights. All in all, it is a fun phenomenon, and it's kind of funny to see everyone has the same experience when sifting through used records. Herb Alpert is actually one of the most successful musicians of all time, but if you're not in that circle of music, you may not know much about him. Also, Whipped Cream is a fantastic album, and if you haven't checked it out before, I would highly recommend it. I'll also link to the Reddit post down below if you want to check that out. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.